What's up, guys? So, I was doing some shopping around, just kind of checking out some different things. And uh, I ran across these yesterday. And, you know, I've kind of got a thing for coaxial drivers. And these got my attention. Um, I was actually looking for pro audio stuff. But these just sort of popped out to me. First of all, they look really good. Now, a couple of things I want to point out as to things I saw. Look at those nice grills. Nice grills. A couple of things I want to point out, though. So, you notice in the back of the driver, you have a screw here. And it's exposed with the label out. So, you can get to it without tearing the label up, which is cool. Uh, nice, heavy wire on that going to that tweeter. You could easily get to that and rewire that tweeter to be separate. It's got the spring binding post, so you're not fighting with the blade terminals. That's a good thing. Uh, Kevlar cone. And, I mean, just a nice looking driver. Kevlar cone, butyl rubber surround, silk dome tweeter. It's got all the right stuff. So, I looked down through here and I found uh, that it has a 75 watt RMS uh, power handling each which is significant. Like I said, silk dome tweeters and Kevlar cone. But what I found interesting was I started digging through um, the rest of the specs. And, uh, and uh, it is a deep driver, so if you're going to put this in a door, you better make sure you have room behind there for that that magnet. It's not a, it's not a thin guy. But it's got an inch and a half voice coil almost. Um, this output 90 dB sensitivity, that's going to play really well on low power. So it's excellent for someone doing a, a head unit powered setup. But this is the one thing that got my attention the most. It's got a 65 hertz resonant frequency and a 45 hertz to 20 kilohertz. This thing plays down to 45. With the, with the driver this substantial and that Kevlar cone, that butyl rubber surround playing down to 45 hertz on low power, this thing is going to make a great mid-bass driver for, for a door location where you can get it you know, tight enough to where it's going to actually not rattle everything. This is going to be really, really good. 92 dB output SPL at 1 watt per meter. That is great. That's a tweeter and 90 dB on the woofer. Like, just great specs. A Neo tweeter. Excellent. So, <clears throat> this is a nice little setup. And I'm pretty sure I've seen part of this and a couple other drivers, but this overall package for 100 bucks is great. Now, I know not everybody's into the coaxial scene. So these guys are $100, right? 75 watts per, playing down in the 40s, 50s, easily playing in the 60s, which is great. I mean, that's easy to tie up to a subwoofer right there. Play on low power, handle 75 watts RMS, and there is a, uh, that's the meso, so there's also a meso, 6.5 two-way component set to go with it and I'm pretty sure it's the same woofer and there is a Meso 6.5 three-way component set so you could totally do with these three sets or any combination of these three you could totally do a cars all the cars mids and highs and ordering all three of those together is 500 bucks but you wouldn't order all three of them. You'd probably order the two-way plus the coaxials and the three-way plus the coaxials. So you'd be looking at 350 or 270, depending on how you order them. Or you could do three ways in the front and two ways in the back, you know, for a little over 400 bucks. So the prices are good. The power handling is good. The um, I, I'm sure that the two-way and the three-way have the same woofers. I think the tweeters are different, but still, 
that'd be a good match set. And both of those come with crossovers. So you could do a physical, you know, mechanical crossover instead of, and then just run them as a single driver. Or you could do them all active. And these guys here will be active also. You just have to tap into that little wire there, and then you can make these active. And like I said, I am a uh, kind of a, a, a coaxial freak. Another cool thing about these, I didn't point this out. I did point out that they have that screw back there. The reason I pointed this out is you could take that out. They don't come with a phase plug, so there's not a phase plug to go in there. But the cool thing is if you blow that tweeter, you could replace it. Uh, you play, I'm not sure if you could order it or not, but you could replace it because that tweeter will come out of there. I don't know if there's a phase plug in the box that doesn't show one. Uh, it would be nice if they did include phase plugs. They do give you a little speaker wire, some of these little problem-solving clips and some screws, but they don't show any phase plugs. So I don't know about that. But it's interesting that they do have it to where you can easily remove it, remove it without hiding it behind the label. You know, you take that screw out, and that little dude comes right on out of there. But, and it come out as a little stick. And you just literally put the face plug in there, and then put the screw in the face plug, and that'd be that. They don't have one listed in here, though, so I'm not sure about that. Um, and these guys, of course, don't come with a face plug. And they don't have a, uh, they have that little, you know, dust cap there. These don't look like the same woofers as the other ones. They do have some extra party party tricks, but that's interesting. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, they don't have anything listed there, but it is interesting that, oh, that's, that's for cooling. Okay. Yeah, that's opened up for cooling right there. Um, so yeah, pretty cool setup. Um, I've heard some CC, CT sounds mesos before, and the ones that I heard was the two ways, these guys, and I was impressed with them. They didn't do anything bad. Um, I just have a, uh, a thing for, uh, coaxials, and I saw those and they just caught my attention. These readers look okay. Nothing to write home about but they should do the job. They do sound good, though. Like I said, I've heard this set. I know what they sound like. And I'm not sure about the coaxials. I haven't heard those yet. But for 100 bucks, I mean, that's a solid deal. If they sound anywhere near as good as, uh, as those two ways do, and I'm sure they do, that's a solid buy right there. And I'd be willing to bet you that that there's uh, other companies, manufacturers, face plugs will fit right in there, uh, very standardized, which is why I think that they actually come with this solution back here, exposed and, and pre-cut, is because another another manufacturer, or the same manufacturer, manufacturers for a different company that does offer these with a face plug. So I'm sure there's some out there. and uh, But yeah. Good looking driver. If you guys are interested in a good set of uh, coaxials, this might be the jam for you right here. At 100 bucks, man. Can't go wrong. Anyway, guys, peace.